Today we're having a look at the 2D Express Rack. Probably the simplest system out there right now. It is a two bike rack that fits very, very quickly and easily to the car. And as you can see, it's very, very compact for storage. We're also going to quickly have a look at a quick tip on how to fit smaller frames and odd shaped bikes onto the rack as well for those of you who already have one. Now the rack itself, as you can see, is very, very small and compact for storage. But when you want to use it, it's very easy and quick to open. You simply fold out the arms. And then snap it onto the car. Now to put on the car, you just need a tow bar. Any type of tow bar system will work, whether it's a gooseneck or a fixed. And you literally just drop it over the ball, open it out, and squeeze that down. If you're worried about anyone stealing the rack, which is highly unlikely, it's not that obvious on how to take it off. There are two holes that line up here, where a simple lock can be put through. And when you want to take it off, button on the back, lift it up, squeeze together, and the rack comes off. Now, the trick we mentioned is sometimes people have frames that seem to be too narrow to fit across the gap. What do you do if you've got a funny shaped bike or a very, very small frame? Well, that is quite simple. Here we have a KTM full suspension. As you can see, besides being a smaller frame, with the shock and the bottle cage here with the linkage system, some people may have a bit of a problem actually figuring out how do they fit the clamps that will fit underneath here. Well, with this rack, the clamps don't need to fit over there. Well, very simply, just swap that sideways. Now, when you want to fit the bike on, you'll line the top tube on the vertical one, always, but the back can fit almost anywhere you feel fits comfortably. You can fit it across here, or even across the top. Now, that'll depend on you and what angle you want the bike to go at. If you have a second bike here, you may want to play around with it as well, just to change the angle your seat post and handlebars are at to let the bikes fit next to each other quite comfortably. This does have a further advantage, I'll tighten this to show you, is that if you have the normal traditional one hanging on top, that is fine, and on a bigger one, bigger frame bike, that is the way it's usually done. But if you choose to go for this system, even with the bigger frame, you have the added benefit of limiting the amount of swing you can get from it. Once you combine that with the straps, can actually prevent the wheel from swinging at the same time and the bike is now locked up. Anyone worried about bike being stolen, 2D don't normally give locks for one simple reason is you are very unlikely to go driving to a shopping center for instance your bike on the back and walk in for a couple of hours. If you are taking your bike anywhere it's usually to a ride or to a bike shop for a service etc. In which case once you get to your destination your bike comes off you don't leave your bike on. But if you do decide it is going to be left anywhere or you just want the extra peace of mind, any bike lock, simple bicycle chain with a combination of key through the frame and around the spark and your bike is completely secure and easily attached.